Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Legend of the Eyes. This is a brand new mod pack made by Feed the Beast, which I'm very happy to say that I'm partnered with, and they have given me and the other Feed the Beast partners early access to play this pack and share it with you guys. I don't exactly know when the pack will be fully released at the time of recording this, but I will most definitely let you guys know as soon as I can. Of course, be sure to join the FTB Discord as well as follow the mods Twitter to stay up to date and while you do that feel free to join my discord and follow me on Twitter as well. But with that said this mod pack is made for Minecraft 1.19.2 and it's using fabric and it also has 131 mods. I'm very excited to play this because I'm a huge fan of fabric and I'm really looking forward to what FTP has put together here. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into a world. So I'm going to call it the legend of the eyes, just like that. Of course, we're going to be playing in survival. Difficulty is going to be more normal. I'm not going to change any of the defaults. We're just going to press create new world and let's see what happens. And here we are. Ooh, oh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay, then. Let's take a quick look at the map. Okay, this area looks very promising. I mean, we have a, we have a, what is this, a floating village? Yep, that's a floating village, all right. Right above our heads. Wow. Right. Anyways, welcome to the world. Now... Let's take a quick look at the quest book. You, you saw that villain. You, you saw that guy. He probably landed in water. It's fine. Let's take a quick look here. F2B, Legends of, Legend of the Eyes. Welcome and getting started. Feed the Beast Legend of the Eyes is a challenging exploration-based pack where the player is tasked with collecting at least 12 of 16 eyes in order to open the end portal. Each of these eyes has a unique requirement, like fighting a boss or discover a secret location. You will need to explore the world, craft powerful items and overcome tough challenges to collect all the eyes you need. So this is the primary goal of the mod pack, getting all of the required eyes and opening the gateway to the end. Really cool stuff. And as you have noticed, we have six hearts down here. So let's take a look at this. You may have noticed that you start out with only six hearts. Don't worry, that'll get bigger. Okay, phew. For every five unique foods that you eat, you'll gain another heart. Additionally, every five, every unique eye collected will add another one as well. And we can make this diet journal right here with a book and quill and apple. So that's really cool. We'll definitely get to that. And then over here, we have Legend of the Eyes uh, quests here. We got Eyes of the Ender. A lot of really cool looking things. The final fight, Tech of the Wild, we got Create in here, we got Power, we got Industrial Revolution right here, we got uh, Spirit, very cool stuff. Looking very much forward to this. Uh, storage and more, we got some. Oh, we got um, Applied Logistics too. We also got Tom's, Tom's Simple Storage Mod, yep. Cool stuff. Tools of the Trade. A bunch of different things, waystones, gilded netherite armor. Wow, okay, I'm really looking forward to this. And invisible chapter. Ch uh, okay, I, I guess we'll get back to that. Anyways, welcome. Yes, eyes of the... All right, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Um, this is a brand new world, and of course, in every brand new Minecraft world, you need to um, pu punch wood. So I'm, I'm not going to punch this tree. Oh, I have auto jump enabled. That is... Not acceptable. Uh, auto jump off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to find a more suitable, ow, a more suitable tree to chop down that isn't um, well of that size, and also not too small either. If one of those even exists around these parts, it doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm not gonna leave any trees hanging, however. However, I can take these smaller bits that are just sitting right here, basically free and right for the taking. I should point out, oh, the rays are cool. I should point out we are starting with a nature's compass and of course a quest book, but the nature's compass can help us find different biomes if we want to look for something specific. 
Before, however, I go ahead and make any more wood chopping, we're going to go ahead and make a quick... Oh, that's cool. That's a cool animation right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick axe. <laughs> Just to make the, the, the process of this a tiny bit less painful. We also have 68 pages up here, so that's... Oh, it's not J.I., it is R.E.I. Roughly enough items, I am pretty sure. But yeah, we have a lot of pages of that to go through. Alright, I think I have most of my wood stuff acquired. Now I need a little bit of stone to get some stone tools. I would love to get up there. However, there's not really any water coming down from it. We do have this tower, which makes it a little bit easier to access. So we'll take a look at that. We also do have some stone here. Yes, plenty of cobblestone. So, so if I just go ahead and make a pickaxe, we should be pretty good. Just gonna chop away at this. Oh, I, I heard something. I heard something. Our first combat situation right here. I only have six hearts, so I should be very careful. Yeah, it's actually very dark in here. I um, This place isn't particularly safe, now that I think about it. Um, I am gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of cobble here. I won't be able to use the magic cobble. I'm not really gonna focus on that. Just get the basics here and then we can move on. Try and get up to that village because they probably have quite a few good resources. Alright, I think I have enough stone now. Let's try and climb that uh, tower that's over here. I want to see if there's something at the top or if it's just... Well, either way, we will be able to get a pretty good view. That's obsidian. Hold on a minute here. We also got some sort of cave entrance, maybe. What's this? I assume a ruined portal. That's some light rays. Oh, yeah. This is a ruined portal. That's lava. I thought that was glowstone. That's dangerous. Okay, loot chest. Okay, that looks cool. That's... Ooh! Okay. Armor right off the bat, flint and steel, a cryptic enchant. Hmm. I mean, I'll take all of this, especially the ah. Uh, oh, curse binding. Okay. Mm, that can that can kindly stay behind. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, that that's enough to build a portal. I can't grab that <laughs> just yet. I will, however. Oh, I only have six hearts. I only have six hearts. I am not. In a situation where I am equipped to deal with this. No. Ow. Oh, I only took one heart. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> I'll be fine. All right. Let us... Okay, this place is pretty. Let's, uh, let's climb the tower here. I'm also getting kind of hungry. So, a breath of fresh air. Ow. Ow. Hey, I don't... Oh, zombie. Lovely. Oh, climbing this is gonna be... Oh, no. It's gonna have hearts. I can't, I can't die already. <laughs> I can't die already. Okay, how do I... How do I... Okay. Uh, I, I need food. I think I need to change my priorities. I'm currently on one heart. Um... Yeah, I, th I think food has to be the priority right now. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's not fair. Now, that's not fair. No, 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 no. That's not fair. We're, we're not playing that game. No, that's not happening. Okay, this is an issue, though. When I died, I got shot, and there's also a spider. And a zombie, apparently. Can I just... Okay, right-click and get everything. Okay. Okay, I got one piece of raw beef. Um, I can t totally defeat the spider. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, okay, maybe the, maybe the app, ah, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe the tower was a bad idea. <laughs> maybe the tower was a bad idea, um, yeah, th this place is extremely unsafe, maybe we should try and go to the plains, and uh, see what happens, maybe we could get some sheep, some wool, get a bed, stuff like that, you know, that's probably a decent idea. Oh, just don't fall to my death, yeah, that, that seems a lot safer. Yep, entering the plains. However, the sun is going down. So getting three pieces of wool is going to be crucial. 
I'm sorry sheep. I don't have shears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna kill you. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear me. It's getting... Getting... Getting dark quite quickly, huh? That's, um... Yeah. Ooh. Well, I love this. Well, I love the look of it. I don't love the fact that I can't get to the other side where I see on the map that's sheep. <laughs> All right. Right over here. Yep. White sheep flower forest. I mean, this place looks really cool as well. Ooh, dear me. Okay, I do have enough now. I have enough to make it. I have 10 hearts. I'm not supposed to have that, I don't think. That could be a bug. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a bug. I mean, that's one, of, that's one of the reasons of early access as well, right? To find and eliminate bugs. We'll see what happens there. We'll see what happens with that. Well, actually, I am going to cook up some food. And it does say you will have increased hearts when you eat five different foods. So I have mutton here. I have beef. I actually have one raw mutton, I suppose. Uh, I'm definitely going to cook the beef, though also have run flesh so I should be able to one two three four uh, four five I can actually produce five of different foods and let's see if then what uh, what happens all right well I'm gonna use this spider eye first giving myself poison for five seconds run flesh because that's lovely just one please raw mutton so that's three from the cooked button and then the steak and then we'll see what happens I should definitely be at six hearts though but uh, that's fine we'll get that sorted anyway my my main objective today is getting to that village because that is going to be huge however I want to check out this over here I want to check this out yeah because that looks very promising so that's I assume to the left of me yes that's a random waste zone. Do I pick that? I think I pick that up. Oh. Ooh. Hello? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, that's cool. That is cool. That is very cool. Definitely need to go down caving. I hear moths in the area. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's, can I pick this up? If I can, that would be useful. I think I can. Cool. That means I can use it in our future base. Wherever that may be. Also, while I'm here, beautiful view. I will grab a little bit of coal. And if I can find iron, that would be ideal as well. But I don't think we have sink. Oh, wait. That's iron. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's iron. There we go. First bits of iron. Definitely got to get this coal as well. So one of the main things in this mod pack is to, like it said, explore the world. Explore, craft powerful items, things like that. And that is, of course, exactly what we're going to be doing. Because we need to work towards getting those Ender Eyes. Eyes of Ender. We need at least 12 out of 16. So I'm really looking forward to that. We will take a closer look at the quests as soon as we get to the village. Because that means we can take a breather. Will be safe, I hope, unless it's a pillager village. In that case, we may have a problem. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll be fine. A little bit extra iron. Ooh, leading to some cover. I don't really need cover right now, though. Four iron. That's just enough for an iron pickaxe. Uh, oh, we have some more iron over here. Sweet. All right, final piece here. I just found a huge coal vein right there. Oh, there's even more. All right. I'm going to move on, though, because I can't do... Just coal mining. <laughs> I want to move on because I want to find out what this is over here, especially that blue stuff. I'm very intrigued what that is. And then I need to find out how I possibly get up there. I have enough iron to potentially make a water bucket and then also an iron pickaxe. That would probably be worth, uh, worth it. Uh, I also, yeah, I do have, I do have. I do have blocks, so I could possibly also just get a stone shovel and get some dirt to bridge up there. That's also doable. The terrain generation is really beautiful, and the 
Like the ambience is really nice as well. All right, I'm gonna eat this steak now. And that's an extra heart. But you look at that. However, again, that should have given me now then seven hearts instead of 11 hearts. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, it'll probably be sorted for the next episode. Am I getting? Yes, I am getting closer. Looks like a huge crater. I assume that this is going to be a crater from Applied in Geostics. That. Ooh, that's another waystone. Yep, that's Applied in Geostics right there. But this is a waystone and a loot. I mean, I would say. Ooh! Iron nuggets, and a pearl, empty map, feathers. Emerald. Can I take this? Oh. Breaking the chest will delete your unique loot and all items in the chest. In order to break, you must sneak while doing so, as loot is per... Okay. That's cool. I actually will activate this, because that means I will be able to come back to this in the future. Applied to logistics, I have never really gotten to play with it that much, so... I'm pretty sure I just heard another skeleton. So, if I could get to use it in this series, that would be really awesome. Alright, I think... Well, with that, actually, I do have enough iron to go ahead and make a bucket and get a water bucket. Because that would be possibly... That's a witch. Yeah, running in the opposite direction. I want to try and climb that, mount, that tower. And if I can get a water bucket, then that task is going to be infinitely... Easier. That's a zombie villager. Get that real quick. Uh, get you out of my way, please. Thank you. Alright. Alright, so that right there is the ruined portal. And with my water bucket, I should be able to climb the tower a little bit easier. Hopefully, anyway. At least that's by hope. Because I am going to think that I can do something like this. And then something like this. Yes, my strategy is working. Haha. -ha. However, water alone won't get me up there. <laughs> I can use the ladders too. And then I have the water bucket for trickier situations. And also if I were to miss misplace my foot. Oh, we're getting to the top right now. I just hope there's not a spawn or something. Oh, another waystone. Another waystone. I'm going to assume that the village has one as well. So I'm going to take this. That's going to be cool. Another loot chest. Oh, wow. We'll be, we're getting a lot of items. Ender pearls. I definitely won't be able to make it up there. That's a target block. Huh. How high up do we reckon that is? Because <laughs> I only have a stack and seven wood. Um, hmm, I reckon a stack should more than cover it. It's not going to be pretty, but I will have to come back down eventually. Um, so this should be fine. It's also getting night time. I really hope this place is, like, safe. And now that I think about it, I don't actually see any villagers on the map. But I'm not seeing any bad guys either, so that's good. I mean, for now, anyway, I'm not. <laughs> well, we're almost there. I think if I can just connect my awesome-looking pillar to this thing, uh, we should be good. Just one more, two more up, then over like so. Yeah. Oh, we do have noble villages. Okay, this place is safe. Nice, unless they're in disguise. Okay, and this place is very well lit up. Hey, fellas. Wow. Do we have... Oh, we do have loot. Oh. Okay, well, that that's my boots. Uh, hey, guys, you, you don't mind me. I made a huge climb and, like, did a bunch of stuff and, like... Yeah. Yeah, you don't... No? You don't mind? Okay, th thank you. Thank you very much. I will not disturb you anymore. Um. <laughs> hey, Gollum. Protecting the place, huh? I thought that was a wall of golden blocks. That would have been very interesting. Can I mine that? No, I need an iron pickaxe. What about a golden one? Nope, still need iron. Yeah, this place is sick. We got wood right up there. We have food, wheat, carrots. 
can probably find some potatoes as well. We got hay bales. Oh yeah, this place is perfect. And a free bed. Would you look at that? I get. I, I kind of want to explore this at night time, you know? Because it's very pretty. It's very well lit up. I like it. I like this. Oh, we got more loot. Saddles? Okay, I need to I need to organize my inventory. I need to find a place to settle down. I need to find a place to settle down. Get my inventory sorted. S yeah, you are in a very dangerous situation, my good sir. Um, let me try and help you without dying myself. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, oh, now, okay, you just got a job like that. Okay. <laughs> right, uh, okay. Okay, moving on. Uh huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Like a pro. Perfect. Let's see what we got in these houses. Hey, fellas. What we got here? Farmers. Wow, this place is filled. Like farms and stuff, I do, however, still need to find a house I can call my own. You know what? Either on one of these open areas, or maybe this right here. It has chests, it has smokers. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call this home. For now anyway. What does this lead down to? Another house. Yep. I I I like this. I like this place. I need to set up some stuff. Okay, that's food. What we got over here? Ooh, wool. Okay, if I... Hmm. I wonder if I can pick that up. If I just throw this for now. Grab this. And then hold down shift. Yes, I can pick this up. So if I just throw some more items out. So I can just take this. And pick this up. And then I can make a double chest. And things can get sorted. Alright, gonna go ahead and make an iron pickaxe just to have it. That's a very much needed upgrade, I think. Okay. This is not too bad of a start. That is death down there, and I am not going to risk it. Even more food. That is really good. Don't need to worry about that too much now. I'm gonna pick this up. Right, let us take a closer look at this. So, in the eyes of Ender, find the Lost Castle. The Lost Castle is a large castle town dungeon full of enemies, puzzles, traps, and treasures. Most importantly, however, is the end portal atop the tower opposite the throne. The portal cannot be opened with mere eyes of Ender. Twelve of the new of the sixteen new eyes are required instead. It doesn't matter which, you can use any combination. The map can be bought from cartographers. Okay, really cool. So we need to find the lost castle. And from that cage, you can capture a frog by... And then this will then lead to other things. Dungeon, FTB dungeons are massive. Uh, so, old eye. Ah, so I need to find some of these locations. So, oh, I get it now. So to find the different eyes, we basically can use this as a guide. So. To find the dull eye, we need to buy a dull eye, obviously, and we can see information about each eye in the different areas. So, dungeon dwelling, we will be able to find an old eye, and this, the cursed eye, is available front and center upon entering the pyramid. How easy, almost to... Mm. Uh, anyways, pyramids, find pyramids, so that's probably why we got the nature's compass. Blazing geode, the burning geode can be purchased from tier 5 clerics. Okay, this is really cool. While exploring, you may come across pillagers. The lost eye. Yep. This is basically how we get the different eyes that we will be needing to use. The final fight. Again, the castle. The end. And then the final fight is probably the ender dragon or something like that. Tech of the wild. Okay, I don't... I guess I take this. <laughs> Don't know what that does, but this then spreads out into four different categories here. Of course, we have storage, which is definitely something we want to look into, but of course we need materials for that. We are in a cloud, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, 
With that information, it seems like villagers are going to be a pretty important part in this, so I'm glad we stumbled upon this. Because there are a lot of villagers here, so that's really good. Also, I can now take these emeralds. Hopefully this tower won't... I can't, I can't see. I actually can't see. This is terrifying. Why? <laughs> I can't see. Nah. Now what I can go ahead and do, I think I can place down a waystone here. Waystone name. Sky Village. Done. And now I can right click this and I can teleport to, for example, the other waystone that we found here. So as we explore, as we find new waystones, we will be able to activate them and then teleport throughout the different areas and parts of the world. That is really awesome. Bye bye cloud. Now, one thing I do need to definitely do is pick this up. Uh, that's obviously a must. I, I can't do anything other, uh, b before doing this. Um, I'm going to place down my bed somewhere. Uh, I suppose right here. And I'm going to set my spawn. Then I'm going to try and die and see if my heart's reset. If not, I will talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, a grave will be made, so this is the primary way I, I can think of doing this. Am I flooding? Okay, I'm flooding everything. That's lovely. I do have nine levels. It is a bit painful, but yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to see if the hearts reset or not. And three, two, and one. No. Back at 11. All right. Well, that hopefully will be sorted for the next episode. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to call this one here. I don't want it to be too long. It is kind of the introduction of this. I'm very, very much looking forward to this. I'm very excited to see where this is going to go and get all the eyes and explore the world. So I'm going to do a little bit of, I've got to do some planning here in between episodes. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you have any tips or tricks, if you know any of these mods, do not hesitate to let me know down below in the comments. If you have tips or tricks, suggestions, things like that, all of it is greatly appreciated. But yes, like I said, I'm going to be doing some planning and we will reconvene in the next episode so guys i really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the upcoming episodes oh we just got two diamonds okay i i, I didn't expect that <laughs> i didn't expect that <laughs> i didn't expect that okay definitely need to loot all of these houses and the animals and everything yeah I'm gonna fully explore this village off camera here, gather everything, and if I remember, I'll show you in the next episode. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here before I ramble on too long. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and until next time. Oh dear me, you you can't you can't see me. I can't see I can't see you. Goodbye. <laughs>